Okay, welcome back to more of Zelda's butt. And we're going to be going through this unnamed dungeon in this part. Another bonus area. And I'm actually not sure about the actual name of this place. This will be like maybe extra bonus or last bonus or something. Uh, so it's pretty much as soon as you step into this place, yeah, you already know this place is not gonna be really fooling around with you. <laughs> Kinda wanna make sure you're... ...max equipment. Just to make things a little less painful. Although I can always use the edge of the screen to my advantage. Death Knight. Yeah, you're gonna find quite a few Death Knights in this place. Although this screen's kind of weird. It's got a really weird mixture of enemies. You got uber enemies, and then you got some weak ones here. Like, really weak ones. Now, you can actually go on to the left on this screen, and what you're gonna find is a whole bunch of crap here. Again, better just to, you know, if you have Nyra's love, you can use that, but I'm just gonna spam the edge of the screen. Since they can't actually get to the edge. But my Slash can still snipe away at them. I'm gonna pick up a free piece of heart. Now, as you're going through this place, you will probably find some resemblance to what these uh, designs come from. Like this giant tree, this looks a little familiar, almost like from level 2. This is why I'm a big fan of Slash. It just gives me that ability to snipe from the edge of the screen. So even though you can't directly attack from the edge, but you can kind of let the range of that slash help you. Yeah, this is just like the, uh, one of those caves, and the big smiley face thing, that is a Stathos 3. I think that's the only place we actually see these guys. Now this room normally would be a bit hazardous. But since we have boots, you know, we can just walk across this, because, uh, boots will probably... Oh, it does. It, it shields you from all floor hazards. So not just the lava, so these guys as well. And we got the smiley faces there. Gonna take them out easily. I think this is similar to like that, was it? The slime cave or something? And then this section here is actually. Uh, it looks very similar to Ganon's Island, actually. And on this screen here, we've got the. what I think is a troll face there. And that is your Patra 3. I think this is the only place you actually see Patra 3. Thank goodness for that. Obviously, you're not going to get this in the main game because, I mean, you don't have... If you didn't do any of the optional dungeons, you don't have a blue ring and a 
maybe a magical sword at the best. Certainly nothing like enough to take out Patrick 3 here. So we got the troll face right there. Well, I guess we'll do some trollage of our own. Just for kicks. Already picking up the boss key. Yeah, this is a really random play, so there's really no patterns of how this is really designed. There's pretty much a lot of the other levels and mini dungeons just kind of clumped together. Here we've got like a literally a mix from the level two area, and now we're in the level three area, the the mountain area. Go down here. We have like the below is like the closer to like maybe the Lake Helia area. Here we have another Patra 3. Infamous troll face. Now this room can be kind of annoying because you know luckily I'm safe on the right edge here. If that Patra 3 just decides to stay on the left side, there's not much you can do to reach it. It's free to snipe away at you. If you you know go into the room. That's why it's nice to stay on the right edge here just to buy time. I mean, look at how many fireballs it is just shooting at you here. And again, you know, magic is pretty much useless at this point. I'm just gonna play around with this. Yeah, you know, once you take out all the little Patrick kids, that Patrick 3 is helpless. I think before you go down these stairs, you might want to get Nairu's love out just for safety. Because you're going to get a not-so-friendly greeting here. Yeah, it's this room. Yeah, not a very friendly greeting. So, we're just going to troll him out. Do as much sniping as you want. It does zero damage to me. Well, I could use some magic right now, actually. Crush out of magic at this point. You know, I might as well put my magic to use because, you know, I spent, what, 400 rupees on. on, uh. Nairu's Love. Or, like, you know, what was it? Maybe 1200 rupees total just for all three spells. I mean, I might as well get some mileage out of this stuff. Look at this, this is just like a random mess of enemies here. Oh, fresh out of magic. I'm gonna have to find some uh, magic jars at some point. Okay, well at least we're in a more friendly area. Basically, the, again, the Lake Helia area.
And just feel free to scout around a little bit. I mean, not too much in this section. Chance for some refills. I'm picking up more money I don't even need. I can't even, actually, I can't even use my... Oh, compass is here. Almost didn't see that. It's actually camouflaged in the palm trees there. Well, a little magic jar. Skill amount of magic I got right now. Yeah, no, I don't need that fairy. Now, if you dive under the center of this little patch of dark water, or deeper water, extra money, and there's that one suspicious square of land. I mean, you gotta think that there's something here. I'm not wrong to assume that. Little glimpse into the uh, the fossil cave. Again, this is just like a just a mixture of all the or at least most of the other areas you've been in throughout the game. And this screen's a little weird. Uh, you can see the. Blue land mole are kind of stuck there. Alright, got my magic back in one go. Good to go again. And here we have. I'm trying to tell what this area is. Maybe wasteland? At least part of it resembles Wasteland. Yeah, you barely see the, the little butterflies come out already dead. The nice thing about the big magic jar, you just get all your magic back in one go. Now the wind rope actually doesn't seem to be able to even get, doesn't even seem to cover a good part of the area. I'm not sure what this is supposed to represent. Maybe more into the kind of volcano type areas. Which at least the the lava doesn't, doesn't bother me anymore since I got boots. Yeah, it's pretty linear, there's no real Blanco secrets to find here. Okay, this screen, uh, you actually don't even need to take out the mirror robe. And you see the switch you have to hit. <coughs> so we're just gonna ignore the mirror robe. Okay, this screen is just a total mess. I mean, there's just like basically every enemy you don't want to see. All the super elite enemies. I'm ready to get rid of the after three there. Oh, smoked. I think, didn't think I made that much progress on that thing. I 
don't want to leave the screen now because I'm pretty sure that Patch of 3 has the highest priority. You know, if I've got that thing completely down, there's you know, no reason to we'll let it respawn and take it out again. Well, I can't do it full magic. So the, the, the beehive thing is not that big an issue. I can get my magic back anyway. Yeah, it's kind of a messy room to go through. I'm not being very helpful here. I'm gonna stay on the edge of the screen here. Oh, he's got one heart back. And for this mirror robe, it's probably easier just to stay on the, you know, the non conveyor belt pieces. I just think you're safe if you stay on this closer to the edge here. You know, if the conveyor belts are really annoying you. So I can kind of just get a couple hits and just get back to the Fairly safe area. I'm surprised I got rid of that patch of three that quickly. Uh, this is probably the whatever the Landmola Cave, whatever it was called, you know, where you got the hammer. Alright, so pick up our final heart piece. And before going into the stairs, that would just lead to the exit. You know, if you notice this one suspicious rock, you can actually get rid of it. You know, obviously. But if you pound it, it actually removes the entire right wall. Well, so we can just, instead of exiting this place, we'll just keep going. Into a place of more, uh, happy faces. Easy way to get rid of them is just use your dense fire, because that will do Master Sword damage and will one-hit KO these guys. And since these guys drop a lot of magic, you're probably gonna get it all back. Yeah, so now you're in just this weird place of nothing. I mean, literally, there is nothing here. Uh, this question mark, I don't think there's anything with this. But you can't even go right there. It's pretty much an open screen, there's like no real boundaries. And there's just a lone moblin there. Not mind that guy. And just a bunch of wind robes on this screen. And a chance for some refills. And picking up a useless map, and I mean it is really useless because uh, I kind of already explored the whole main map. You can see I'm on the blank spaces on the map. Even a compass is pointing to the middle of nowhere. Now 
Now you can actually, yeah, you can actually head to the right. And this is kind of an interesting screen. I'll give it that wind rope first. Now if you use your lens, you will find that it doesn't help you here. So this is, you're just gonna have to stumble through this room. Since your lens does you no good in this screen. I mean, eventually you'll stumble through to the end. And those stairs also take you to the exit. Uh, but before we go there, you know, there's the compass, you know, let's we'll see what's up here first. Yeah, this is a rather obscure secret. And you get a random words right there. Yeah, I'm not, you should be able to figure out what that is. Uh, I'm not gonna mention it. And honestly, it doesn't really help me at this point. I mean, by the time you get that, it's just, you know, you're at the end of the game already. It's just there for you. Just a collection or whatever you want for it. since it's, you know, totally optional. Okay, so nothing else to do here, I'm just trying to get out of this place. I think we pretty much picked up everything. So, time to go back to uh, Ganon's Island and actually finish off this. Which is pretty much gonna be a cakewalk at this point. money I don't even need anymore. <laughs> I was gonna use the whistle, but I didn't realize that this actually took me right to the village. There's no point buying super bombs because you don't need any more at this point. And again, that's what the one blank spot here is that super bomb. I already bought enough of those. Alright, so heading back into Ganon's Island, where we'll finish. Uh, this off basically is the end of the quest, so we'll finish this in the. It should be the last part. Alright, see you guys later!